guess we're redesigning the DeLorean. Before we jump into the sketching part of this video, I want to take a minute or two to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes with topics ranging from sketching to rendering to video editing or even cooking and fitness. Me personally, I've been on the platform since 2015, which is close to five years now, and that's both as a teacher and a student myself. The thing I love about Skillshare is the ease of use all you have to do is just click enroll and you're enrolled in a class you can log in and watch the lessons at your own time whenever it's convenient for you and if you have any questions about the classes or a specific lesson all you have to do is go into the community of the class type your question there and the instructor will see the question and answer it as best as they can. One of the areas that I want to improve in is graphic design. And my favorite teacher at the moment is Aaron Draplin and his classes on graphic design. It's kind of laid back and more my style. I don't like to sit in a classroom and be bored. I want to be hands on and straight to the point. So these classes fit me perfectly. Now I paid thousands and thousands of dollars to get a piece of paper that said master's degree in automotive design in Italy. I spent a year there, I had a lot of fun, but I don't think it was worth the money that I paid for it because I've never ever used that sheet of paper anytime at any point in my career. Nobody ever asked to see the master's degree or the proof that I actually went there. The only thing that's important are what skills do you have and what value can you provide to your employer or to your own business. And that's why I think Skillshare is the future of education because you can pinpoint whatever subject you need to improve in for example, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, you need to learn about marketing, you need to learn about video editing. You can just jump onto Skillshare and find a specific class on that topic taught by teachers that are actually passionate about what they're teaching. And the best thing is you don't have to spend thousands of dollars like I did to get a master's degree. Skillshare is $10 a month for an unlimited premium membership, which means you can enroll in as many classes as you want for just 10 bucks a month. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they are offering you, my subscribers, two months of free premium membership if you click the link below in the description. So click the link below to get your two free months of premium membership and check out all the classes that they have. I'm sure you're gonna find something that you're going to enjoy. And thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. And now let's get into the sketching part of this video. Alrighty, the DMC DeLorean or just DeLorean since it's the only model that they actually built. So what do we want to do with this redesign? I have an, I have a vision in my head what I want to do with this car and uh, it's not going to focus on beauty. Uh, more it's going to focus on... So th the brief that I gave that I'm giving myself is what if they made a Back to the Future movie today what would the DeLorean for that movie look like? So the DeLorean has some, some very unique design features that we are going to take a step further. So let me show you what those are here. First of all, we have the cut line for the door. It's a, it's a very unusual cut line that goes like this. So I want to, since it's a rear engine car, we might as well try to make this into some sort of air intake right here. A pretty big one. Uh, doesn't have to be subtle or anything like that but we're also going to keep this straight hood this is pretty much a just a solid uh, flat surface right here which is the hood I want to keep some I want to keep that per, per, uh, that uh, part of the car the proportions of the front I want to keep it similar to the original we are going to redesign the front completely so this is going to go the whole thing I want to have some weird looking headlights some unique looking headlights and do something different that's not expected because i think that's the whole delorean uh the spirit of delorean is to just do some crazy stuff and hopefully <laughs> it's going to work that's pretty much what they what they went for uh so we're gonna keep that kind of uh uh kind of mentality when we move forward with this redesign for the wheels I honestly don't think they are 
any better wheels than these ones so we are going to keep the wheels just as they are and just increase the size of them a little bit and to polish them up with some airbrush and some some shading and so on but pretty much keep the stock wheels as they are the idea the, the whole concept is <clears throat> so if this was a um, a time machine what i want to do is have kind of like an exoskeleton and of course keeping the brushed steel uh, look of the car. I want to keep that but have it as as an exoskeleton that Encapsulates the greenhouse so that the greenhouse is the time machine itself and That it's being protected by this metal frame that goes around the greenhouse itself I know it sounds weird right now But I think it's going to make sense when I start sketching and I start putting these ideas down on paper as usual I'm talking a bunch of nonsense probably for a lot of you, but it always makes sense when I start to sketch. You're gonna see what I mean. So keeping this proportion right here, also keeping this sloping rear uh, like that. I want to keep that distinct profile of the DeLorean. Clean this up, of course, remove these uh, lists right here, but really putting some focus on these doors and the cut line for the doors. So I want to have this part right here this part this is part of the exoskeleton frame that we're going to do and then this part in the rear is the same it's also part of the visually it looks like it's protecting this greenhouse that goes in here so we're gonna have maybe a uh, difference in depth here uh, to create the illusion that it's actually two different parts almost like an egg inside and then it's being protected by this metal frame now, to make this all make sense to you, we're going to jump into the actual redesign of this car, start doodling around and try to figure out some ideas and try to get this vision down on paper. It's not going to be very beauty focused, more so it's going to be more of an original design that really would stand out in a new Back to the Future movie. So let's get to work and let's see what we can do right now. The DMC DeLorean, usually referred to simply as a DeLorean, as it was the only model ever produced by the company, is a sports car originally manufactured by John DeLorean's DeLorean Motor Company or DMC from 1981 to 1983. The car was designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro with some key design features being its glowing doors and brushed stainless steel outer body panels as well as an innovative fiberglass body structure with a steel backbone chassis. When it launched to the public, it became known for its disappointing lack of power and performance, which didn't match the expectations created by its looks and price tag. But later, after 1985, the DeLorean became iconic for its appearance as the time machine, in the Back to the Future movies. And this is what we're going to take inspiration from in this redesign. During its two year production run, which began on January 21st, 1981, the car was generally unchanged, although minor features and parts of the car were changed, such as the hood style and wheels. About 9,000 DeLoreans were made before production halted in early 1983. In 2007, about 6,500 DeLoreans were thought to still exist. However, in 1995, Stephen Wynn, a British entrepreneur, created a separate company based in Texas using the DeLorean Motor Company name. So what Wynn did, he acquired the trademark on the stylized DMC logo, along with the remaining inventory of the company, and now the company builds new cars from old stock parts on a made-to-order basis. Which is pretty cool. It means that you can actually get a DMC DeLorean built for you if you contact this company. They will just take the old inventory and parts that they have and build you a new car. In October of 1976, the first prototype of the DeLorean was completed by American Automotive Chief Engineer William T. Collins, former Chief Engineer at Pontiac. Originally, the car was intended to have a centrally mounted Wankel rotary engine. The engine selection was reconsidered and eventually the French-Swedish PRV V6 engine was selected. Another change that was made was the engine placement, which moved from the mid-engine location in the prototype 
to a rear engine installation in the production car. These and other changes to the original concept led to considerably scheduled pressures. The entire car was deemed to require almost complete re-engineering, which was turned over to engineer Colin Chapman, founder of Lotus Cars. Chapman replaced most of the unproven material and manufacturing techniques with those then employed by Lotus, like the steel backbone chassis. The first prototype appeared in October 1976 and was known as the DSV-1 or DeLorean safety vehicle. As development continued, the model was referred to as the DSV-12 and later the DMC-12, since DMC was targeting a $12,000 MSRP at release. Unfortunately for the company, they did not manage to stick to that price point. After several delays and cost overruns, production finally began in 1981 as DMC officially dropped the name DMC-12 on their now $25,000 car in favor of the name DeLorean. The DeLorean sports car, as it was described in advertisements, began production on January 21st, 1981. DMC required $175 million to develop and build the motor company. Convincing Hollywood celebrities such as Johnny Carson and Sammy Davis Jr. to invest in the firm, DMC eventually built the DeLorean in a factory in Dunmurry, Northern Ireland. By the time production actually began in 1981, the unemployment rate was high in Northern Ireland and local residents lined up to apply for jobs at the factory building these cars. The workers were largely inexperienced, but were paid premium wages and supplied with the best equipment available, and most quality issues were resolved by 1982, and the cars were sold from dealers with a 1-year 12,000-mile warranty and an available 5-year 50,000-mile service contract. Unfortunately, the, the DeLorean Motor Company went bankrupt in late 1982, following John DeLorean's arrest in October of that year on drug trafficking charges. He was later found not guilty, but it was too late for the DeLorean to remain in production. The body design of the DeLorean was a product of Giorgetto Giugiaro of Ital Design and is made of brushed stainless steel. Except for three cars plated in 24 karat gold, all DeLoreans left the factory uncovered by paint or clear coat. However, painted DeLoreans do exist, although these were all painted after the cars were purchased from the factory. Small scratches in the stainless steel body can be removed with non-metallic pads or even sandpaper. When it comes to performance of the DeLorean, it achieved 0 to 60 in 8.8 .8 seconds when equipped with the manual transmission. If you had the automatic transmission, you get from 0 to 60 in 10.5 seconds with a top speed of 110 miles per hour. Road and Track called the car not quick for a sports GT car in this price category. Although there were no typical yearly updates to the DeLorean, several changes were made to the car during its production. John DeLorean believed that model years were primarily a gimmick used by automobile companies to sell more cars. And instead of making massive changes at the end of the model year, he implemented the changes mid-production. And this resulted in no clear distinction between the 81, 82 and 83 model years, but with subtle changes made to the hood, for example, and the wheels. So that's the redesign of the DeLorean. As you can see, I used the cup lines of the original uh, DeLorean to create these vents and almost like an exoskeleton that uh, that protects who's inside the occupants of this time machine because it's going to travel through time so it's kind of, it kind of you need you you want to feel that that you're protected from the outside elements when you go through these wormholes and so on so that's that's the inspiration for this design and as i said in the beginning it's 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 rear engine so that means that we have the opportunity to create some really cool air intakes in the rear as well the wheels wanted to keep them uh, stock because to me these are the DeLorean wheels. You, you, not, no other wheels would really fit this car. So that's why I kept them stock. And of course we finish everything off with keeping the polished steel look. 
So I went over the whole car with an overlay layer and a brush that creates these strokes that gives the sense of it being brushed steel and I think the effect really turned out great in this car. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to get your free premium account by clicking the link in the description below. You get two months of premium membership for free. Enroll in as many courses as you like during that time. And thanks again to you for checking out this video and spending a few minutes with me today. It really means a lot. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.